Hi, Santa Fera, aka Ferret here, and today will be the S ray guide for uh, Warner Vermin, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Either way, the cat and mouse duo. That's pretty much what this is. Here's the thing with this boss fight I find the parries kind of difficult to get. The amount of parries you get could make or break you, and especially is true for this um, boss fight here. It's not. It's not bad, but here's the thing. The parries can be very difficult to snag if your positioning is so off. That's personally my opinion on the parries. Besides this, this is a really fun boss fight, just just in general. So very quickly, um, this is going to be uh, Thursdays? Yeah, I think it's Thursdays. Thursdays video after Howling Aces. Okay, your loadout. It's going to be what I prefer using is roundabout for shot A, and shot B is going to be spread. You're going to want to use Cuphead with the um, parry heart, with, a, with the uh, heart ring. If you don't have Heart Ring, you use Smoke Bomb. Also, you want to also use the uh, first Super Art as well, but you're most likely not going to be using it because you're going to be using a lot of EXs. So, without further ado, let's really get going with the S Rank Guide for the Cat and Mouse Duo. Okay, the Scrap Attack is he's going to fling some trash at you, and you have to parry the. Uh, Scraps that you can. Parry the scraps that are pink. Make sure your positioning is good. The springboards for this attack do not count for the parry, so don't think you can get away with just spray with just hitting that three times, because that would not activate that parry. There's only one other attack he will do, and this is what the attack looks like. I got the uh, scrap can attack twice, and then we went straight to the uh, second round, so the second phase. So here's what that other attack looks like. And of course you want to dodge the uh, explosives, make sure you avoid the uh, fire that comes out at the end. The best bet is just jump, but if you have to, immediately dash to give yourself a bit more height with that attack. Okay, this part is pretty cramped, but it's not that bad. You spread as much as you can. Be aware of all the, uh, the uh, soda can uh, caps, make sure you be aware of those. As much as he can. Also, when he's at the bottom floor, you can actually duck under the fire, but that's only. But you only get through that unscathed if you're able to get through it without getting hit by the uh, soda caps. This is your final phase. And this is where you can also get parries, but really, I just focus on dodging and just using spread. He's gonna use his paws to attack. So dodge aside, the wood is going to come down, so be aware of that. The ghosts do give you parries occasionally, but just dodge them. Just dodge the uh, balls they throw at you, and this phase is over. And that is how you S rank the little cat and mouse duo there in the cup in the main game Cuphead. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. I'm Fanta Ferret, aka Ferrets.